Not good enough, Mr. Speaker. We're still looking for some straight answers on the liberal blame game. First, the Prime Minister's office blames our High Commission in India. Then the PM blames a backbench liberal MP. And then the Prime Minister forces the National Security Advisor to pitch a conspiracy theory to selected journalists blaming India for trying to embarrass Canada by giving a visa to a convicted terrorist. Mr. Speaker, when will these Liberals give some straight and honest answers to Canadians? Mr. Speaker, the uh, insinuations and accusations from this member and other members of the opposition today uh, are absolutely and utterly false. We respect our national security agencies and we respect their nonpartisan public service. We respect, in particular, their ability to provide nonpartisan advice to the government. And that is indeed what happened in this case. Honourable Member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's office forced a nonpartisan public servant, the Thanks. National Security Advisor, to plant unattributed stories in the mainstream media yes. to try to uh, influence and redirect stories about the Prime Minister's embarrassingly disastrous trip oh, yeah. to India. Yeah, Does the Prime Minister have any evidence at all of this conspiracy theory, or was this tale concocted to protect the Prime Minister's political interests? Well said. Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Gentleman is wrong. <laughs> uh,